shingles to broken tree branches. Temple residents are still cleaning up debris left by recent storms. The city of Temple reports record breaking numbers in debris collection, causing some drop off sites to overflow. News 10's Jasmine Lotz talked with city officials about these drop off locations and residents about what's next. Lauren Gordon, city leaders tell me they are seeing two times the amount of debris from 2021 snowstorm, so they encourage residents to use drop off sites. Brush being anything vegetative and bulk being items like shingles, nails, metal and more. And I'm told so far the city has collected around 7200 cubic yard of brush and counting. Some temple residents are dedicated to removing debris. Having to take them one at a time. One by one, <laughs> you'll see more branches. This is the 10th load. We probably have another 25 at least. Larry and Cynthia Elkins are two of many tornado victims. <laughs> the couple says the twister caused their trees to topple over into their yard. This isn't even the whole tree yet. But the two remain in good spirits during the recovery process. Just part of the cleanup. He's used uh, to you it. can't, you know, don't he do knows. no good to complain about it. Just <laughs> I'd tell him a why. The city of Temple has brush and bulk drop off options for its residents. <laughs> Locals can leave separate piles of brush and bulk on the curb and the city will pick it up. The city also has a map where you can find out when crews will be in your neighborhood. Another option is only taking brush to the solid waste complex free of charge. Lastly, for brush and bulk. Residents can go to the city's landfill. However, city leaders say the landfill charges almost $5 per cubic yard. We are working as quickly as we can. Of course, I think our public works team did amazing jumping into action as quickly as we could. Surrounding cities like Belton are seeing high numbers as well. Brush everywhere in the streets, um, in people's yards. And so I think that we we kind of knew that we were going to have we were going to have quite a bit to clean up. Those affected like the Elkins say they're grateful the solid waste complex drop off is free because if not they would be paying a pretty penny. It costs so much to carry it out to the landfill. A load like this is about $75 and we brought mm -hmm. 10 out here free. The city wants to remind residents that illegal dumping can lead to fines and even jail time. You can head to the city's website to find authorized trash and debris drop off locations. In the studio, Jasmine Lotz, KWTX News 10.